Today on Instagram, a photo of a fine letter he received for the team because he missed a walkthrough on August 22nd. He tagged it with this post saying, when your own team want to hate, but there's no stopping me now, devil is a lie. Everyone got to pay this year, so we clear. Welcome back to another episode of Andrew Says. Remember, I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once I'm in my Broncos hoodie. We're talking sports today, sports controversy. And when I look at the Antonio Brown situation, I see nothing but hilarity, first of all, but I also see a ton of hypocrisy. The NFL needs a story. Everything's already written this year, Brady and the Chiefs and the, uh, the AFC, the NFCs, the Rams, the Saints, the Vikings, the Eagles. Almost everything is the same this year as it was last year. It's not hard to predict who's going to be in the playoffs. Kind of hard to predict who's going to win the Super Bowl. There's so many teams, but there's not many stories happening. We need controversy. We need something to complain about. Antonio Brown does the same thing that he always does, and now we're, we're taking a crap all over him. I don't like it. The Raiders suck. We all know this. They're not going to beat the Chiefs. They probably won't beat the Broncos or the Chargers. They're probably going to end up... They might be the, my Broncos, okay? So they might end up in last, but they're not making the playoffs, unless something, a miracle happens. So they're going to Vegas soon. They got Marshawn Lynch. They got Antonio Brown. They need excitement going to Vegas. And as we look at his rap sheet of Antonio Brown, they knew what they were getting into. John Gruden, who I like, I like as an announcer and a person, but he's a hard ass. That I, pers I personally wouldn't want to play for him, but then again, he's got a Super Bowl ring, I do not. But to think Antonio Brown, a 31-year-old player with this history, he's a wide receiver, the most charismatic ones, 31-year-old with this history, is going to come to Oakland and just change? Now that's pretty delusional if you ask me. Now I don't know if he promised he'd play ball. Maybe he said he would calm down. I don't know. But the Oakland Raiders took this risk knowing who he was. Now here's a letter about his fines that he got that he posted to social media. Now they're mad at him for this. He's doing a bit. I don't understand how people can't see this. Now he's giving emotional apologies. You can see by these headlines. Now he's allegedly calling people crackers. As you can see by these headlines. Are you familiar with the song The Way I Am by Eminem? I am whatever you say I am. Now this could just be for the team. This could just be for show for the press of it all. Who's going to know if that's the PR strategy there? My beef is more with the media coverage of Antonio Brown because it's so hypocritical. Especially from ESPN. Here's some. Disaster. You know, I, I credit Mike Mayock for doing the right thing. In... in We've talked about A.B. as the player and the impact that he could potentially have on the Raiders because he's such a good player. But there is a big difference between being a great player and a great pro. And A.B., since he's become a Raider, has just shown time after time after time he's not a great pro. And that has really bad impact on your locker room. And I credit Mayock for going, I don't care how good of a player you are. They, we are not going to allow you to – be bigger than the football team. Be bigger than me. He called him out on social media and challenged him. Mike Mayock had no choice but to do that. We all know ESPN sucks if we're real sports fans. If we're people who like Fox Sports or CBS Sports or Barstool Sports. We know ESPN sucks now. It went way too political to the, to the point where they have to say that we're not going to do politics anymore. Don't worry. That's not going to change though in my opinion. They've got some redeemable characters. Will Kane comes to mind. I like Stephen A but you don't care how good he is? Is this not still a business? Is this not still a way to make money for lots of people and give people opportunities? You don't care how good he is. Find him, do whatever, but this is a business. Let the man play, please. Okay? Imagine Tio not playing while he's doing driveway workouts. Imagine Chad Johnson not playing while he's changing his name to Ocho Cinco. Deion Sanders playing baseball the same day. Was it not the T.O. show? Was it not the Ocho Cinco show? Was it not primetime with Deion Sanders? Or should we have just not let them play? Will Bond from PTI is a better take. Let's look at that now. They all deserve each other. They do. Because Antonio Brown has behaved like a fool for years, leading to the Pittsburgh Steelers saying, just get out. 
We don't want you here anymore, right. and they could be better this year without him. Mike Mayock, I mean, I guess he has to send the letter, but as soon as I saw he sent the letter, for, you know, I, I, for procedural reasons, you just said Antonio Brown's not going to take this well. He's going to lash out and go social media because that's what he does. And John Gruden looks like a chump. He looks like somebody who's been punked because last year he got rid of two of the most impactful players in the league. He's going to remake everything and remake the culture and flex by getting Antonio Brown, who behaves essentially like a bum at every turn. He doesn't care anything about his team or his teammates. And the Raiders deserve Antonio Brown and he them. The overall hypocrisy I see here is what most of these analysts deem worthy of criticism and not worthy of criticism. ESPN, who decided to go all about politics for whatever reason, because they can't help themselves, they gotta do what's right, they think they're holier than thou. They have no right, okay? We can say Kaepernick was great for because he was kneeling, but we can't get to the actual issue. We can't say that he sucks and that's why he wasn't playing, we can't say that. So we can't upset the social justice warriors, but we can, of course, upset the NFL either on ESPN and people who are like-minded. Now let's go out and forgive all the guys who beat up their wives and their girlfriends and their children. We can't talk about that, but let's talk about the kneeling. Let's talk about Antonio Brown posting videos from the locker room and photos of letters that he got because it's outrageous. Remember how horrible Ricky Williams was treated by the media because he smoked weed and didn't care? Marshawn Lynch is saying he does, he's only here so he doesn't get fined? Where's Allen Iverson when you need him? We're talking about practice. When you appeal to the lowest common denominator, you are not getting my respect for what you choose to cover and not cover. They're going for virtue signaling points all the time, but we can't actually cover what they're virtue signaling about because that would be too tough. Well, Antonio Brown skipped practice. Newsflash, the Raiders suck and you signed him knowing who he is. Now I have to sit here and watch these people, Dan Orlovsky, be the moral authority. He doesn't seem like a bad guy, but man, where, where are you coming from from this? You would have, when you were playing for the Bears, you would have begged and pleaded for a player like Antonio Brown to be on your team. The Bears had the one run to the Super Bowl, and that's it. Would you have kicked Devin Hester off the team, record-setting re return man, if he said things you didn't like? If he posted a letter on social media, I don't think you would have, because it's stupid. These people go from the NFL is racist to Tom Brady manipulates the footballs by a tenth of a thirteenth of an ounce, while ignoring domestic abuse, rape cases, ignoring abuse, Jason Whitlock receives a fellow analyst. And I have to hear these people talk about Antonio Brown is an outcast on the Raiders? Are we forgetting which team the Raiders are? Somewhere. Marshawn Lynch is laughing at this, knowing he's on the team, and he's like, oh, it's not me for once, but I told you guys. I told you this is how it was. I told you it was stupid. And to end on a more positive note, let's kick it to the coldest Eva Crawford. Excuse me. Someone signed him to a college team. I think I mispronounced his name. Yes, that is his real name. If you haven't heard it, first name the coldest, middle name to Eva do it. Last name, Crawford. The coldest to ever do it, Crawford. Did I say crawfish? Crawford. ESPN, get it together. I know you need a story, but Antonio Brown acting like Antonio Brown is not new. He's 31 years old. He's a wide receiver who isn't even the top wide receiver anymore. He's on a team that's not going to win anything. Continue with the Patrick Mahomes stuff. Continue with Brady and Roethlisberger. Continue with the Rams. Continue with the Redskins, and not the Redskins having a racist name, you guys. Find something else instead of picking on a guy who's doing exactly what you thought it was, or he was going to do. The unofficial definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results, but that's what happens when you watch ESPN.